All right, all right, all right. It's 7 o'clock right now, 7 p.m. Central Time. This is Demarcus Fisher with Online Beast Marketing. And we are going to get started real soon. <clears throat> but let me clear my throat real quick. <clears> throat> Hi, I'm back. <clears throat> yes, I'm online right now, and I've been up since 5 this morning getting it. Are you guys there? All right, all right, all right. Cut the volume up. Let me make some quick adjustments. Okay, mustache looking good. Beard looking good. All right. So let's see here. Get ourselves situated. Because we are live right now. We're going to just allow time for the rest of the audience to get in the game. Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you're from, wherever you're at. Gonna give some time for everybody to get on in, y'all. This is Demarcus Fisher and the Online Beast Marketing Team. Haha. <laughs> yes, yes. So, hope everybody uh, that's on right now can hear me. We're gonna. Give some more time for everybody to get on in there. Excuse my Texas accent, but it, I am from Texas. And it's rodeo time here in Texas, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a rodeo before, but there's a lot of cows, there's a lot of burgers, and there's a whole lot of barbecue, guys. So we're just going to wait for a little bit till we get everybody on in. I don't know why I carry... Five pins in my pocket. I don't know why. It's crazy. I have too many pins. Everywhere I go, I need something to write down. So, we're going to just give it about a few more minutes before everybody gets on in. <clears throat> we hope everybody is having a great, great, great day. We hope everyone is fully blessed and doing the best you can to succeed and to continue to prosper. So again, this is Demarcus Fisher, Online Beast Marketing. This is the place for business advice, for small business entrepreneurs, for aspiring entrepreneurs, whether you're an independent business owner who's looking to sell music, who's looking to do a, have a sales business, whatever industry that you're in. Uh, we just wanna give good advice uh, again, me and myself uh, started with about 20 years of experience in sales and marketing. So uh, we're going to discuss some expertise. We're going to give out some valuable information. Again, you guys can always check out the videos uh, at onlinebeastmarketing.com. You can check us out on YouTube as well as Facebook, Twitter, and all your social media accounts. So as we give a few more minutes for everyone to get on, uh, while we're waiting, I guess I'm going to tell a quick joke. One of my favorite jokes that I like to share with everybody. And let's see if you smart folks can get this, okay? So one penguin walks up to another penguin and says, Hey, I like that tuxedo. And the other penguin says, Yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's an incredible joke, but it just takes a lot to process, okay? So again, we're going to give it about two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes. And let everybody get on and we can enjoy some great conversation discussing change, which is a very important aspect of your life. Change is inevitable, but you have to learn how to adapt, guys, okay? So, again, we're going to give about 30 more seconds uh, for everybody to get on, okay, guys? Won't be too long, but we're going to dive right into it. I think I'm going to break this down into two parts. Uh, we're going to talk about the aspect of change in your personal life. Then we're going to discuss change in your business life, okay? Again, that is great. So hashtag change begins with a smile. 99.9% .9 of all smiles are started by the other person, guys. If you don't have anything, you have a smile. And your smile will affect your attitude. And people will notice your attitude, and you will notice change by the way people treat you. So it's not always about what's going on on the outside. It's about what's inside, people, okay? We're going to focus on what's inside. 
That's the way we change. That's the way we improve. And that's the way we grow, guys, okay? So, again, I'm going to dive right into it right now. So, it's about time, guys. A little bit past 7 o'clock. Again, my name is Demarcus Fisher here in Houston, Texas, home of the Astrodome and the Houston, Texas Rodeo. Guys, never been to a rodeo? You'll be fascinated about it. There's cows, animals, it's amazingly huge pigs and things like that. Uh, but the barbecue, oh God, if you like to, if you got a weight problem like me and you can't wait to eat, then you definitely need to go to a barbecue. Houston, Texas has the best barbecue. I can, hands down, I want to say that, guys, okay? All right, so we're going to get on this right now. Now, I found a quote today by somebody I admire, uh, definitely one of my mentors that uh, I definitely like to uh, to hear things about him, but also uh, I just want to share this quote with you guys, okay? So the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. That is by Albert Einstein, guys. It's Albert Einstein says that. Albert Einstein is uh, that extremely high IQ, theory of relativity. I'm sure you guys know who Albert Einstein is. But again, I want to say that. The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. You have to change and adapt on the fly, guys. And you can't let it bother you, okay? So, um, again, as I said, we're going to start the meeting tonight. We're going to start the discussion tonight. And we're going to talk about change begins with... So we're going to discuss a few several things that will help you and that will uh, make you continue to grow which is more important you definitely want to grow in your life okay guys so as I started off with the, with the quote I said by Albert Einstein the measure of intelligence is the ability to change okay now change begins with letting go of fear I mean you got to get out of your own head you have to learn to let go of fear because the fear <laughs> Like Tony Robbins says, like the other guys say, false evidence appearing reality. Sometimes we work ourselves up in a way where things haven't even happened yet. And we're already worried about what's going wrong. You know, instead of worrying about what's going right, a lot of times we worry about what's going wrong. And that's negative thinking, guys. We don't want to think like that at all, okay? We want to let go of the fear. As soon as you let go of the fear, you feel so free. You never know what's going to happen. Like we always say, you hope for the best and you prepare for the worst. It's as simple as that, guys. So we definitely want to let go of fear because change begins with letting go of fear. I mean, fear of what you look like, what somebody may think about you, uh, how you dress, uh, if you have a, a tattoos, the prejudgment of what somebody may think about you. You know, you can judge a book by its cover, okay? You can't, but you really can't. You can't really, uh, I want to say, you, you, you can look at someone, but you can't really, you can't tell what that person's about, guys. You can't. You can't. So if someone looks at you, definitely understand that, uh, you know, you just let go of your fear, guys. That's all I'm saying is let go of your fear. And then that will help you grow and that will help you change. Now, you can't change the world, but you can improve yourself and change your world, okay? Want to repeat that again, guys? You cannot change the world. The world is what it is. We were born into this place. Uh, everything that goes on, whether what country you live in, uh, no matter what area that you're in, you just uh, have to understand that you cannot change the world, but you can improve yourself to change your world. Okay, guys? And that is an actual fact right there. You can change who you are to improve your world. And I hope you guys understand that, okay? Now, um, also, change begins with having integrity. This is very important to me because I feel like you have to have honor. Your words have to mean something. Somebody has to, has to see that you stand by a certain code. A lot of people are pretty reckless. A lot of people, uh, they'll say one thing and then the next minute it's something else. No morals, no standards on anything. Uh, but I feel if you want to change where you're at right now, you show people that you have integrity. That's something that comes from the inside, and that's something you share with the world, okay? That's going to help you in life. You definitely want to be someone who's about their word, someone who's trustworthy, someone that you can that people can depend on. You know, uh, there's so many people who, uh, they, they, they feel like they, they're always blaming other people for their problems. You know what I mean? 
but it all comes down to your own individual integrity, how you are willing to 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 go about your life, the 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 the, the ethics and standards that you hold. Like for example, I'm a father. I have four children. I love being a dad, and I will always be a good father to my kids. That's a commitment I made to myself. That's a commitment to be a good friend, a commitment to be a good man and all. So even though in the past, I understand that everyone makes mistakes, but the way you have, uh, the way you show your integrity, that shows the world who you are, okay, guys? And that is what change begins with, okay? Now, um, I also want to talk about this. Change begins with removing self-doubt. The self-doubt that you have, that you may have, or if you do have it, you got to erase it. Let it go. Let it go, guys. Put it in a boat. Sail it off. Put it in a plane. Shoot it out of space. You cannot have self-doubt. If anything, self-doubt or failures that you've had in the past will help you continue to grow, okay? So you learn from those mistakes, and you will get better. Now, also, change begins with admitting that you're wrong. Sometimes people don't want to admit their mistakes. They will go to the grave literally not saying that they've made a mistake. And you know what? By admitting that you made a mistake, then you proceed to move with change. Okay, guys? You will continue to make something happen in your life that's positive thinking, and that all affects your life. You know, sometimes we have these negative thoughts all the time about uh, what's going to go wrong and how bad our lives are or, or uh, I'm not proceeding to going anywhere. But you know what? Your thoughts affect everything. Okay, guys? When you open up your mouth, you actually birth what comes out of your mouth into the universe and into reality. So by saying positive things and keeping a positive mindset, that's where change will happen. Okay? Now, also, change begins with work ethic. I've been up since 5 this morning, guys. Uh, I understand work ethic. One of my favorite artists, my favorite rappers was Tupac. He had a work ethic that was surpassing most, almost anybody right now. I mean, when it comes to making music and doing something that he was passionate about, he put the work ethic into it. So if you guys don't know who Tupac is, please look him up. Uh, fascinating, fascinating person. I definitely admire him. Uh, as one of my uh, many people that I, that I admire and look up to as well. Uh, so again, work ethic. I mean, times where you don't feel like getting up and doing anything, I promise, by you sitting in bed, nothing's going to get accomplished. You have to get up and put in the work even when you don't feel like it, guys, okay? That's what's going to get you out of debt. That's what's going to get you out of situations that you're in. That's what's going to make your goals and your dreams work a lot faster or, and, and come into fruition and just come to you. Blessings will come everywhere if you're willing to put the work in, okay? It can talk about the law of attraction, how you can attract certain things in your life by thinking a certain way, but I promise that grass is not going to get cut unless you get up and get productive and you cut it yourself, okay? That's the way we're going to make this work. Change begins with you guys, okay? Now also, change begins with resiliency. What affects you will hurt you if you let it, okay? You have to be resilient no matter what's going on in your life. I don't care. I, I know sometimes we, 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 you know, to me, I feel like there's people in the world who have really not been through anything, a uh, situation where they had crutches in their life or they had something always given to them, something given to them. Uh, at me for myself and, and some of the people I speak for as well, uh, we haven't had things given to us. So we work hard. We get up. We understand that being resilient by facing adversity, going through hard times, is only going to make you a stronger person. So change begins with understanding that you can overcome what you're going through. How bad really? How bad is it really? As long as you have life in your body, you have breath, you, can, you, you have someone who supports you, someone who loves you, you can do it. You can do it. I've seen people in wheelchairs roll themselves off a bus stop on a bus up to a building, catch an elevator, ride the elevator up 10, 10 stories, and then roll to their desk because they were dedicated and they wanted what's better for them in their own life. Understand that no one's going to change their life but themselves. Okay, guys? And that's what I hope you guys can do as well. Now, you know, whether you're dealing with change, um, these are different types of changes in your life, uh, marriage, breakups, career change, uh, job loss, illness, uh, perhaps even death. Hey, stuff will happen. 
Stuff is going to happen no matter what. But how will you cope? How are you going to cope with what uh, adversity comes your way? You know, there's a story that says, hey, you hang around nine broke people, you're bound to be the 10th one. I'm going to hang around money because I'm trying to get me some. So I know you people understand that. Uh, when it comes to adver adversity, you know, you definitely want to be resilient. So all I have to say is keep on pushing, guys. Keep on pushing, okay? Now, if we don't change, we don't grow. If we don't grow, we aren't really living. You know, there's a song called Change Gonna Come. I love this song by Sam Cooke. It was written at a monumental time in, throughout history where a lot of things were going on in the world that, you know, people were just uh, under just, just the hatred and, and, and being blind to uh, all, all just the negativity that was, that was dealing with, all this crazy stuff going on. Fortunately, it's still happening right now, but I do want to recommend this, guys. See, I know I'm getting a little off subject, but I do want to touch on this. Cut out the TV. Stop watching TV. It's all negative. Murder, murder, murder. Kids are dying. Babies have been beat up all day long. And politics and all this hating, mudslinging and stuff like that. Don't let that TV affect your life. That TV will uh, will, will definitely make your mind different. Make your mind, uh, it's pretty much, it will turn it will turn you into someone. That's what te television is called. Tell live vision. Television programming. Your mind is a supercomputer. It holds four terabytes worth of data. I don't know how much totally that is, but that's a lot of information. I know that. So what you put into your brain affects what comes out of your mouth. Okay, guys, we definitely want to put positive information into our mind, educate, and read as much as you can, ask questions. And the person who thinks he knows everything, or the man or woman who thinks they know everything, uh, they've already lost because you can never know everything. Okay, guys, you have to continue to learn. That will be uh, something that we'll be doing for the rest of our lives. Okay? So again, I want to say this again. If we don't change, we don't grow. If we don't grow, we aren't really living. And that's just the honest truth, guys. Uh, now, there's nothing wrong with change. O only if it's in the right direction, okay? And I just want to say that again. There's nothing wrong with change if it's in the right direction. You want to keep focusing on changing to improve. Very important. And I'll be honest with you guys. Whether you guys do music, whether you run an independent business, whether you have a taco truck, whether you're an online marketer, network marketer, uh, no matter what you do, there are people, they're not going to support you. Your family won't support you. People who say to your friends, they, they won't even support you. They won't even know uh, what do you, well, you can do your business for years and they won't even know what you do. And most people won't care. And then again, when it comes down to it, some people in your life, they're just only around to watch you fail. But then again, it comes with change. You have to adapt. You have to only focus on yourself and release that fear of what people think about you or what they're going to say about you guys, okay? So uh, now I want to give you guys five tips to help you change, okay? These are five important tips. Again, this uh, video will be replayed later on. And you guys can go to the YouTube video in case you miss anything. So uh, number one, admit you are vulnerable, vulnerable okay? You want to seek positive people into your life, and that will continue to help you change. Now, if you hang around nine game bangers, how do you expect to be a CEO of a company? And what I mean by game bangers, I mean people who are just not going nowhere. I mean people, let's say you hang around nine people who live at home with their mom and they're 40 years old. How do you expect to grow and change and do something else if you're hanging around people who are not succeeding or pushing themselves into a positive light, okay? So you definitely want to admit you're vulnerable and find ways to uh, to adapt and change, okay? Now, become proactive. What I mean by becoming proactive, and those who are empowered to seek things better, uh, you, you definitely want to be a person who wants better out of life. That's going to really help your change and knowing what you want. Whether you write it down, uh, whether you just email it to yourself. And sometimes I email things to myself so I can tell my future self to read it again. So that, I, that way I can... Uh, remember my goals or remember what I'm working hard for. Okay, guys? Now, victims sit back and worry about what will happen. You don't want to be a victim. You want to be a leader. You want to be a warrior. Okay? Now, that comes with number three. You want to trust yourself. By trusting yourself, 
you would remember all the success that you had in the past. You will use that uh, momentum, you use that fuel, and you will keep driving, okay? Now, uh, also, you want to avoid obsessing about the future. You know, the past is the past. We can't control the future. All we can control is what we're doing right now in our life. Uh, and you use that, use the present to continue to improve. Okay, guys? That's what I want to say. Now, uh, lastly, you want to take action and get back in the game, okay? So when you feel like, let's say you went, you went to jail for you, for 10 years and you get out and all of a sudden you have a record, you know how hard that is sometimes trying to find employment. You understand you have a family to feed and you have bills to pay. Now, when it comes to change, are you going to go back to the same thing that got you sent to jail? Are you going to try to adapt in a new world and find ways to to uh, get your goals accomplished and to take care of your family and enjoy your freedom. So really it's just all about uh, looking into yourself, finding out what you can do to get better. You hang around people who will give you great information, who will give you positive, uplifting information. Look for inspirational information, uh, whether it's Facebook memes, whether it's books that you can read, listening to YouTube, I do that sometimes, just listen to motivational stuff that will keep you pumped up and will keep your mindset going, okay? And you want to go in the right direction, guys, all right? Now, I just want to say this, change happens when the, when the pain to stay the same exceeds the pain to change. Again, change happens when the pain to stay the same exceeds the pain to change. And what I mean by that, guys, is that once you're, once, once, once you're, 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 you're change, what you feel like you need to change to improve versus changing to stay the same, you'll get better, okay, guys? You definitely will get better. You have to make that uh, your goal in life is to uh, change any part of your life that you don't feel is comfortable, that, that you don't feel is, 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 is decent enough for you, okay? Now, I'll be honest with you, as a man, my thing is I want to find my weaknesses and correct them. And I think you guys uh, understand what I mean by that. You would definitely want to find any weakness that you personally have in your life that you feel like you, could, you should improve on and fix them. I mean, don't let no one else tell you you need to do it. You need to do it for yourself, okay, guys? Now, um, now, now this part of the, of the video today, I want to discuss the business aspect. The first part was the mindset. This will be the business aspect, okay? Now, you do not remain complacent and unwilling to change. So what I mean by this is that there's large companies who have not adapted. They were very successful throughout the years, uh, 10, 20, 30 years, and they did certain things that they feel like, oh, if it's not broke, I'm not going to fix it, okay, which is a bad thinking. Look at Sears, for example. You see Sears now, most of the stores of, uh, well, years ago, Sears was just a place to go to. My God, they had books they were sending out and everybody wanted to go to Sears. Everybody in town had to go to Sears. But Sears is so unwilling to adapt to change. Now look at companies like Amazon. I don't know where you guys are at, but I'm here in Houston, Texas and I see businesses shutting down left and right. Look at Macy's going out of business. Uh, if you're not willing to adapt to change, change will happen and you will get shut down. So you definitely want to understand that you have to have like a... Um, like a like a, like a healthy paranoia, you know what I mean? A healthy paranoia that you want to uh, uh, continue to to watch the market, to continue to watch what people are looking for, what your customers are looking for. You just don't sit around and think that everything's going to stay good forever. Because trust me, you will get the rude awakening, and you will pop up. Uh, something will pop up, and trust me, you, you're not going to like it. You definitely want to be prepared for all changes that occur. Okay. Now, the very nature of business includes changing to meet customer demands in a better way. Let me say that again. The very nature of business includes changing to meet customer demands in a better way. So, you're selling cars and you realize that, uh, you know, your customers are asking for more safety, more safety features. If there's a lot of uh, wrecks on the road, uh, people are, let's say, uh, losing their lives in the back seat, then hey, why not put back seat seat belts? That's what you call, that's just an example of adapting to the changing world that goes on. So nowadays we have uh, features where if a business does something new to help their customers, 
there definitely more people are going to support that business because they listen to what the customer wanted. So you listen to what someone, what the customers want. You listen to the demand that's going on. You adapt to that. Your business will succeed, guys. Trust me. You'll do great. Okay. So um, companies that have reacted, that have reached a degree of success, most likely are to resist resist change. Again, companies that have reached a degree of success are most likely to resist change. And I'm like, why? Why, why, why do you not want to change? But there's countless examples of large companies that, that dominated the market for large periods of time, but now they're struggling. So, uh, again, we do want the best for you guys. If you're uh, in your business and you're not seeing success, then you have to find ways to adapt. Um, little tweaks, changes in, in, in your business uh, approach, in your sales pitch, in your marketing game, uh, even, even in uh, or the type of industry that you're in, just the little tweaks can help you out, help you guys out, okay? You definitely do not want to be resistant to change. Change is something that we have to gradually accept, okay? And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like that. Ha. So, again, me, myself, I started my business about two years ago. And uh, I went to a, to a phase where I've lost, wow, like $14,000. And, uh, you know, I understand that that's money I lost and I can't get back. But what it taught me was a valuable lesson. It taught me to look at my business model, find ways to grow, find ways to change that. And having good people on my team with online beast marketing, uh, we find ways to grow and succeed in our business. And also we're here to help out and give good information to you guys as well. Um, wow. Look at the time guys. 7.30, and I have to be honest with you, I got a beautiful date tonight, so I have to go out and enjoy myself, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy yourself as well. Please leave comments, whether positive or negative feedback is always greatly accepted. Again, we're at Online Beast Marketing, your source and place to get all the information on in growing your business, on finding uh, improve and um, um, finding improvements into selling, marketing, uh, leadership, motivation. It's all good, guys. I won't let you down. I'm glad everybody stayed in tune and saw our video. The next episode is going to be fire. It's going to be great again, guys. I just wish you all the best success. Always remember, keep faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. Always know that you have a uh, given power inside you. And you've got to use it. You've got to be in tune with it, guys. You've got to be in tune with the with the inner consciousness, your inter intuition, whatever you want to call it. We're all we all have it. We all have it, guys. We just keep pushing. Sometimes you go through things in life, and it's just really just it's just a lesson. It's not always bad luck. It's just a lesson. Okay, you definitely learn from those lessons. You adapt, you change, and you grow. Hope you guys are having a great day. A wonderful night. I got to get some food. You know I'm hungry. Like y'all guys a lot. And I just want to say goodbye. Now take care. Online Beast Marketing. Bye.